it's time for a demonic sacrifice, beast! But in a wholesome way. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click. My god, you look even better than yesterday. Oof, oh my god, have you been working out? Anyway, so <coughs> today we're gonna do something amazing. It's gonna be hellish for sure, but we're gonna look at hellsome memes, which is like the most wholesome, hellish thing I have found on Reddit to this day, and I am in love with it. So we're gonna be here and indulge in this crack for our laugh muscles. Enjoy. Mwah. And did you know the channel is getting close to 1 million subscribers? Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so <laughs> it's actually really cool. And I'm like really nervous about it. I don't know why I said it's so sarcastic. But it's super cool. Thank you all so much. I never in my wildest dreams thought we would get this far. Um, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's nuts. Uh, let's get into the video, baby. Ha, <sighs> Sai, I'd give anything to be good at baseball. Anything. Oof! Run, 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 run. Yay! Thanks, Satan! Well, the truth is, I never really took your soul. The talent was in you the whole time. Oh, what? Oh my god, how wholesome, Satan! And they say Satan is luring you with temptations and dragging you down a road of debauchery. No, they, they just teach you how to play with balls. <laughs> oh, Satan helping us in... Two ways. Satan doesn't whisper believe in me. He whispers believe in yourself. Oh, Satan. Oh my god, you're so sweet. You're making me sweat uh, happy, happy muscles. Stupid natural light. Yuck. Get out of my dungeon of memes. Thank you. Uses tools. Plays. Communicates. Perceives time. Adapts. We have found intelligent life. A barb. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah, if you just scroll social media or something like for 20 minutes, you will pretty much assume that the birds are probably the most intelligent species. Isn't it something like crows and roaches that adapt the most alongside humanity? It's something like that. Don't quote me on this. I'm just spitballing something I heard like five years ago. But it's for entertainment and it's fitting for the meme. Don't blame me. Source something I heard at some point. <laughs> You don't have my attention. Teacher, look! Look here, teacher! Today, this classroom! Tomorrow, the world! Well done, Anthony. Here, a star. T teacher? T teacher? Uh, yes! Today, the star! Tomorrow, the world! Oh my god, this just feels some some hyperactiveness in the classroom. I can, I can relate to this. No, not really. I was just a student who stayed up way too late playing video games and almost fell asleep as soon as the teacher was slightly boring. <laughs> I was a really good school kid. Wee wee. All right, kids. Two more minutes, then the nice man needs the machines. You see, monsters are only monsters if you hype them up to be. Even monsters like to vibe in society and just do normal stuff like locking their kids inside wa <laughs> washing machines. <laughs> Wholesome vibes. Behold the demon sword. I can conquer worlds with its power. And also butter my toast. That is so sweet. Every cursed sword needs buttering. I wonder if I can implement this in a D&D &D adventure. It's like you have to find the legendary sword. And the, what it means is essentially is you have to butter like the toast of the demigod at the end of the adventure. <laughs> That's it. It's just like the holy butter knife. Ah, it heats up with the flames of hell, so just perfectly melts the butter before it touches your toast. Desperate Dave. Why did you summon me, you perverted human? Hmm. I want cuddle. Uh, oh. It's a cuddle demon. Please tell me you have never thought about summoning a cuddle demon. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh my god. The emotional support demon is going to be so good. I swear to god. It's going to be fluffy and cute and amazing. And I'm going to love it. And I'm going to buy too many. And I don't know what to do with all of them. But it's, it's okay. When you know he's going to hurt you. But you still want to try and see where it goes. Oh my god, Death. I totally love this. This is so sweet. <laughs> I mean, at least he has a stable job, right? That's more than a lot of pain. <laughs> That's better than me. <laughs> oh, the pain. Happy birthday. Uh, we know how much you like blood. Oh, gosh, thank you. You shouldn't have. Always the blood for the blood god. Never a nice cheese platter or anything. It's just blood. Oh, this is so. Oh, my God. Can't they think outside my name? Dear God. Wow, another bucket of the male splooshies for the. God of fertility. How... How thought... How thoughtful. Mmm. I stared into the abyss. 
The abyss stared back. One thing led to another, and now I meet my abyss for regular chats in the coffee shop near my lab. Oh my god, it's so romantic. Oh my god, the abyss is amazing. I love the abyss. Thank you, Courtney. Desperate Dave. Click. Ah. Happy Valentine's Day. <gasps> oh. You see, even monsters deserve love. Every monster is... Someone's love story? Was that the whole sub-twist? That sounds really weird. <laughs> Maybe some people just turn into monsters because the world treated them as monsters to begin with. And after a while, they just started to live into that role. Is that wholesome? I guess so, maybe. But, but so, some stuff is just terrible to begin with. <sighs> I'm sorry, but now it's too late for me to play outside. But it's Baby Cthulhu! Oh my gosh, oh! I want to play with as a baby Cthulhu. We can, like, practice dates and stuff like that. You know, Cthulhu can wear a wig and I can be like, Uh, will you go out with me? And Cthulhu's gonna be like, try to be more confident, but also be yourself. And I'll be like, wow, those are some really, really ancient hellish secrets right there. You should not have come here, human. Why do you cross through my domain? I was on my way to the kitchen for a snack and I got lost. You ended up in a 12th plane of torment on your way to the kitchen? I am not a clever man. <laughs> Why is this just so relatable? Oh, dear. Honestly, it's kind of impressive, though. It's like when you fail so hard that something more interesting than your initial attempt actually happens. That's kind of commendable, though. That's pretty cool. Nanny, what did you do with the baby? Oh, you don't want to go there. Crash. Wah. I was going to say he's asleep. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, dearie, who's a good middle poopsie whoopsie? You are a little poopy whoopy. I've never seen this side of you, Nanny. Look at his sweet little toes, how I could just eat them up. But, uh, you won't, right? Oh, just one or two. That's, yeah, good compromise, yeah? You don't need all your toes, come on now. A group photo. One, two, three. <laughs> Click. Oh, because, because all the pictures you get of, like, Bigfoot and Slenderman and ghosts are always, like, very blurry and weird and that kind of stuff. <laughs> that is so funny, I love this. <laughs> I once saw a parody graph about that kind of thing, where it was like, before cameras were invented, like no reports of Bigfoot or aliens or whatever, then it's like, cameras are invented, or like, sh crappy cameras are invented, and it's like, it spikes. And then it's like, better cameras come along and it dips, because you can actually see what it was. And then like, Photoshop came along and it just spikes again. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous technology is beautiful. Oh my god, oh, can you draw Godzilla mama carrying like a hundred lizard babies on her back to take your child lizard to work day? Oh, shoot! Well, I can't swing a hundred, but how about... Blah, 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 coming out of the water. Blah! And here comes Mama Godzilla with all a Godzilla on the back. Hey, you should do this, and you should breathe this laser, and you should smash buildings. I... I smash this? But dunk Ah! Oh, you're such a good boy! Oh, that's so wholesome and sweet. Oh my god, I love this. Why can't this be real? What? Why is the world we live in such a scam? Honestly. Hey, it's Kathy, just soaking in the tub. So tell me about your day. Kathy, I have absolutely no idea how you got this number. But you would not believe the day I've had. <laughs> Even Satan needs to like gossip and vent a bit of like office place drama. That's just the way it goes. Everyone is human. Even. Even Satan. Satan? Not really. Like, a fallen angel, more like. But close enough. Close enough, right? Wait, what would Satan be like if Satan was a fallen, biblically accurate angel? What would that look like? Would it be like, you know, the mishmash of eyes, but like, in darkness? He would basically look like Hermaeus Mora from Skyrim, right? <laughs> that's, that's an interesting thought. I like that. Hey there, little duckies. Have some bread. There's a lot of you today. Quack, quack. The time has come. Do not fear, stale bread man. You have fed us. You will be spared. I mean, I, I, I like ducks. Um, I would probably be the stale bread man, not gonna lie. I'm gonna be the last human alive when I'm, like, old and... <laughs> and 70 when the... when the, <laughs> the steroid-infused ducks take over. It's a vampire! Ah! And the skeleton! Ew! Ah! Uh. Ew! <laughs> Be nice to each other, okay, everyone at home? Even the smallest comments that you don't mean any harm by can really affect someone's well-being, especially online. This is basically just me trying to, you know, make a generalistic, wholesome segment about, like, please be nice to me in the comments, but <laughs> also yes. <laughs> My name is Daryl. Hmm. Hi, Daryl. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. You made a new friend. Isn't that just beautiful? Minority monsters. They didn't know who they were until they found themselves. Hey, a bakery. 
a succubus. Are you going to steal my energy through rough yet powerfully erotic naughties? Nah, thanks. Not my thing. But, but you're a succubus. Isn't that what you do? Yeah, my, my parents are really disappointed. Cake? What a reverse. It's no longer like, oh, you went to do like the naughties and stuff instead of becoming a doctor, but instead like... <laughs> <laughs> you come from a family who takes massive pride in just the debauchered hearts. Oh, yes, indeed. What a family. Can you imagine the conversations on Thanksgiving? Absolutely beautiful. Hey, Stacy, did you get that promotion to, to head succubus that you were going for? I would love to vibe in that family. Hey, little Narglock Nancy. And they're both growing up together and they're both adults. Oh, my God. And they're old together. That is so sweet. I want to bond with a Loch Ness monster. That is so wholesome. Why can't I do this? Well, yeah, because I never go outside. But, like, apart from that, come on. Psst. Hey. Hey, wake up. Hey. This is my first haunting, so I'm just gonna go ahead, okay? Hmm. Oh, okay. Ooh, rattle, rattle. Ooh, rippy, rippy. Ooh. Nine points. That is wholesome. Be supportive of people on their first day. This just gives me some anti-Karen vibes. Like, when your barista is there for their first day, don't berate them. It will make everyone's days worse, and they will be distracted from actually completing your, your order or whatever. The same thing goes <laughs> with ghosts. <laughs> be polite to your locally sourced ghost. Huh? Oh, come here, you grumpy little poo. Everyone call Ogre stupid and it's true. Ogre barely even literate. Ogre finally finished reading Ulysses, but Ogre only can identify surface level themes like religion and nationalism and can't comprehend deeper ideas like remorse of conscience that make James Joyce's novel a modernist classic. Ogre so clum, I'd make Ogre sad. At this rate, Ogre will never understand Finnegan's wake. <laughs> and people always talk about the beauty and graciousness of elves, about the forging masteries of the dwarves, but where are the poems that speak of the beauty of ogres? Mm, hashtag stop racism. <laughs> if Dracula had a cat. Mm, meow. That is, oh, um, that's true. Cats are horrible little creatures. I, I still don't understand. From like a third party perspective, just looking at humanity from an objective standpoint. I don't get why we give cats so much cred. They're just little a-holes. But at the same time, I also have a cat that's a complete a-hole. And I just bend over backwards for it because how how can you it's so cute. God damn it. Goodbye, ship. Fish. Hmm. Oh, please, Angel, save me. Hmm. <gasps> it's a mermaid. Oh my god. Can can you untie me? No. Fish. Fish? Not fish. Help me untie. Fish! No, you're, you're stupid. F not fish. Here, eat fish. Hmm. <gasps> it's fish. It's fish. And you become fish and you can fish together forever. That's so beautiful. I love this story about mermaids. This is a beautiful take. They just kidnap people to become their husbands. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Honestly, I think a lot of people wouldn't mind, you know, in the modern dating era, instead of having to go on Tinder and chat with bots all day, just like, maybe I'll just go drown and get picked up by, by a nice mermaid, and we can just swim around and eat sushi for the rest of our days. Glo that doesn't sound too bad. Ha, baby bumps. Later. Son, don't let the words get to you. Your horns will grow with time. When I was your size, these little bumps were all I had. But if they take things too far, tell mom. <laughs> oh, 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 de <laughs> oh dear, that's, <laughs> that's very devilish, rar XD, please, demon mommy, punish the little baddies, F for me. Tap, 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 it's so soothing to lay in bed and listen to the raindrops tapping against the window. Tap, 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 tap. I'd, I'd never imagined raindrops as a, as like a creature. B that's weird. But I guess this is the same thing as listening to ASMR, right? But it's live. Wouldn't that be amazing? Imagine like, you know, a massage clinic, but it's like ASMR oriented. That'd be amazing. So you get like headphones and like a back massage at the same time. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh, is that a good business idea? I feel like that would be an amazing business idea. Oh my God. I am a genius after all. Cthulhu, how are you doing that? I need to spin this around. Hold on. There we go. Ah, is your mind fracturing, mortal? Do you feel your sanity slipping away even as gravity itself bends to my will? I bet your feet have little suction cups. Silence! <laughs> little Cthulhu, you silly rascal. The enemy fleet approaches! Release the Kraken! Clunk, 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 clunk. Ah, I'm free! I'm free! 
What did you expect? Like, seriously, you've encapsulated against its will, you're probably not even paying it minimum salary, and it's like, of course it's gonna run away. It's just gonna go to the next castle. Skeleton Stabby, the leader of ducks. It's ducks! Oh my, yes! This, oh my god, this is gonna be me in the afterlife. I love this. This is so beautiful. Please let this be me. Oh god, if there is a deity, please let this be me. I will gladly skip out on any heaven or whatever BS you have planned for me, as long as I can do this. <sighs> Yes, you come across a dire rat. I tried to befriend it and keep it as a pet. A wolf stands in your path. I tried to befriend it and keep it as a pet. Before you stands the demon Lord Baphomet, Prince of Beast. It's my friend now. <laughs> Just, this is just me in D and D. One time in D and D, I actually convinced the dungeon master that I managed to feed and like befriend an owl bear, and I called it Pluffsy. I adventured so far and wide with Pluffsy. We had a flying ship, like a magic flying ship. That's how we got around like our campaign map. And once upon a time in this adventure, whenever we saw baddies down from it, and you know the DM intended for us to like jump down and save the day, I would simply tie a rope around Pluffsy lower Pluffsy down, and Pluffsy would just tear everything to shreds, and then we would jump down. Then Pluffsy got horrendously impaled by an army of archers, but Pluffsy lived a very good life after that, and then I think I kept Pluffsy in my bag of keeping, in the hopes of resuscitating the body at some point. And maybe a little bit of a Rex necromancy side quest, if you will. So, that's the story of Pluffsy the owlbear. <laughs> Nightlight. Hmm. To do. Scared child. Note, nightlight broken, very scared of the dark. Sniff, sniff, ah! Oh, sniff, ah! It's a nightlight, oh! And the ghost turned into a nightlight, that's so beautiful, look at that. Wholesome ghosts. I'm gonna, if I ever become a ghost, this is totally gonna be me. I'm like, yeah, I'm totally gonna haunt you, bro, in a wholesome way. <laughs> Bath, we've invented a new rune. Uh, great work, what does it do? If you put it on a sword. Hey, butt face! And insult your opponent non-stop. You fight like a halfling. Okay, I love this. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's basically just taunting. You're just gonna distract your opponent until they flabbergast something to sh and you will win the fight. This is gorgeous. I want this so bad. Hey, is it safe in the forest down there? Yep, thumbs up. I think I read a spoopy story about this, or like a kind of a spoopy story, which more like a trending Tumblr post. You know, you look into the sky, there are two moons, you stare at them, they blink. It's a giant mystery cat. It's basically this. At nighttime, you would only see the eyes. It's the giant sky kitty. Got you, human is husband now. What, what the frick? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's not how it works, little orc. You have to be more polite and be like, you know, go through the proper channels. You can't just grab someone and be like, husband. Ah, <sighs> man, it would make life easier, though. Hmm. Munch. Oh. I want a husbando shark. Um, I'm just gonna put it out there. If there are any husbando sharks listening to this video, feel free to like, um, check out my Discord or whatever. Like, uh, haha. <laughs> I need to oil this. And now when I'm trying to demonstrate it, barely gnassles. Come on, come on. It's like when you try to show the noise your car does. And it's like, the car just goes, no, 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 that's our little secret noise. I'm not gonna show it to the mechanic. And as soon as you leave, it's like, clack clonk, clack clonk. You're like that. Poo. There is an aberration in my apartment. Nobody else seemed to be able to see it. Hey, hey, come on. You've been blocking the entire TV right now. At first it was scary, but eventually I got used to it. I don't think it's the ghost of a dead person. It's probably more like those urban legend ghosts. Ghosts that appear before people tell stories about them. It's dangerous to get the attention of that kind of ghost. Change it, change it, change it, change it! In case the story is from isn't so nice. Change the channel! I want to watch cartoons. No, you're being a butt. But Ask me nicely, what's the magic word? Bump! Sp SpongeBob! Try again, you dork. I've always liked that kind of story. Ah, it's too late to post this on Halloween, but here's a little story about ghosts and roommates, and roommates who are ghosts. This is so cute! Oh my god, maybe this is what they wanted all along. They're just pissed off about your poor taste in TV channels, and they have to listen to it all the time. <laughs> you're listening to Little Goblin Radio. Go ahead, call her. Yeah, so I'm a little goblin. Could you play a goblin song for us goblins? Sure thing, listener. Here's Worms in My Mouth by Dingle Scrimbus. Scrunky, scrunky, squee, scr This sounds like something from Rick and Morty. And here is Worms in My Mouth by Dingle Scrimbles with the Dingle Dongle. 
God, I'm so damaged. This is Becky, and she mows the grass. Look at that little cute bug! Is she available for hire? Can you imagine that? This is like the level up. You know, the first step is to have, you know, your own stay-at-home goat or cow that just keeps your lawn fresh. This is like the next level. Giant worm creature, <laughs> Becky. I am the undead king who disturbs my unholy slumber. Hey, Mr. King, you seem kind of lonely, so <laughs> do you want to hang out with us? Me? <laughs> hang out? <laughs> okay. Yay! <laughs> Even the, the lords of the underworld need to slightly vibe sometimes. Yay, playing with my kitty! And now we're both older, have a lot of memories, but the kitty is getting tired and old. And you take it to the vet that has to be put down, and death cut- No, that's so sad! But then it gets to play in the afterlife. Oh my god, this is this is so many emotions at once. Oh no, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't come here for this today. I came here to do silly laughs and be silly. This- I hate it when pet dies, man. It's so sad. Does anyone else find it more sad when, like, puppies in movies die rather than, like, humans, you know? <laughs> it's wild. The Grim Reaper isn't a monster. Just someone who ferries the dead. It's out of fear of death and its association with us to make the think the Grim Reaper will be a monster. The equivalent of the Grim Reaper in my D&D campaign is a jolly older woman, typical grandma type, who comforts though who is passing on. That is so no Oh my- that's amazing! I love this! This is so- yes! Just like Death from Discworld, he also loves cats and curry. So good. Just a dragon planting cabbages and watering them with his tears. You know, doing what dragons freaking do. <laughs> Please grow. Is that going to be good? I mean, it's kind of salt water, right? I don't think it's a good idea. It's going to be really bad for the plants. Hello, mom. Can you come pick me up? I'm at Costco. Yeah, they, they mistook me for a Halloween prop again. All right. See you soon. Bye. Crying mini reaper. No assembly to require. Place annoying sniffling sounds. We'll try to escape. $59.99. What a bargain. <laughs> this meeting could have been an email. You know that your your social life has really gone, gone downhill when the summon demons tell you to send an email instead. The struggles, man. There's this thing I do on the weekends. It's not much, but seeing the surprise and the excitement from people finding my loot feels really nice. Hey guys, I think I found something. Ugh, it's just a stock T-model sword, never mind. This dungeon sucks. <laughs> but the poor skeleton tried so hard. At least do the Skyrim route, when you totally over-encumber your poor follower to the point where the spine will snap in half, and then you sell like 50 Falmer swords for like 7 gold a pop. At least do that, that's the bare minimum you can do. I mean, the, the NPC really put an effort here, okay? This is basically their whole weekend job. Ah! I don't have enough hands, Milam. Wine. It's a Cerebus Dalmatine dog. That is so cute. I want one. Where can I buy one? Please let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you. It is difficult to live with a demon. He tries too hard to be nice. I made you tea. I didn't ask for tea. It's very sus. He's up to something. So you know how Cerebus is like a hellhound of the depths, you know, made to guard the gate of hell. Here is Cerebus, but it's a puppy, and it's so cute, and has a little snack tail, and I want one so bad. Why doesn't this exist in real life? Why did anyone create this world without creating this in it? It's such a scam. Oh my god, it's so adorable. G um... Do you know that my GF, Potachi, starts crying if I show her too many pictures of adorable puppies? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so cute. We were scrolling through puppies of like, uh, of like German Shepherds um, before and, uh, and there were a lot of tears and, and crying. It's adorable. I don't need any more friend because I have one very big friend. Here he is. I call him Crawly Foggy Steve. <laughs> Hello, Crawly Foggy Steve. Those are some nice long fingers you have there. Release the Kraken. You're staying in time out, Benjamin. <laughs> That's kind of scary, though. Like, imagine if the Kraken is just an escaped baby. What would the parent look like? Fun food for thoughts. If you don't take care of your pet, I will. Oh, that is so cute. It's so tragic that it would be necessary, but it's so cute. Oh, if any stories about the afterlife is meant to like give you relief about the mortality or the tragedy happening on Earth, this would be the most comforting fact of all. Who needs eternal afterlife when you know that puppies and kittens get like a good place to stay after they pass on? <sighs> that is so beautiful. Wrath. Your hellhound is so sad. Throw him the femur of a sinner already. God! You look tired, Reaper. Well, you know, no rest for the wicked. 
I don't think you're wicked. Just misunderstood. Oh, no, Reaper is crying. Oh, it's been a tough week and the emotions are high. He needed that. Hey, putrid maggot, foul beast. Release the princess or suffer the consequences. <laughs> what does he look like? Old, nasty, very rude and full of himself. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. Mm -mm. <sighs> you fool, I see your heart. There's nothing but lust for gold and glory. Let your whole kingdom know. Only a young, pure-hearted adventurer would be capable of taking the princess away from me. Here's hoping, Betty. Thanks, Wendy. Oh, it's a lady dragon. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Yeah, isn't this just basically what girls do at the club when they, like, keep creepy guys away and they team up? It's that, but, like, with a dragon and a princess. This is a whole different twist on the story. Can we please make this happen as a movie instead of, you know, following the heroic knight and all that BS? It's just a girl trying to, like, find the one and the dragon just being, like, a really good wing lady and being like, nah, -uh, he's he's creepy and weird. Like, don't, don't date him. <laughs> Kahulo, Ashalot, Shabba Habagabagaba, Shagoth, Hashtar, Abach, a deep one, Yog Shahadoch, Ghoul. Ah, you're all so cute, and I want everyone as a pet, please. Marry me, he says. We'll move to Paris. It's the perfect couple. It's it's a bed mermaid and a crow. This is beautiful. I always wish I had beautiful hair like Rapunzel. But you do! That's <laughs> true! When your hair can be your best friends, that's... This is so cute. I would love snakes for hair. That'd be so nice. They can style themselves. Isn't that amazing? Why Why isn't this the, the evolutionary pinnacle? Rai, nyam, nyam. It's dragons eating different sorts of fruits, and they're really tiny and cute. I want a dragon like this. You know, a little shoulder dragon that you just toss a strawberry every now and then? That is adorable. Why isn't this a thing? Okay, after I make the land shark political party and spend the entire national budget on gene splicing land sharks, I'm making this. I think my list on gene splicing animals is probably in the, in the dozens by now, but... <laughs> It's it's gonna be fine. Human needs are secondary. Some would say a skeleton had no chance with the paladin, but some paladins are real into the macabre. Here's the skull she's holding. Oh, I hope she holds me like that. <laughs> I love it when a woman just tears my skull off and parades around with it. Yes. Who wants to see my favorite statue? Yes, you do. It's a Bulgarian statue called the Dragons in Love. And it's a statue of two dragons. And they're in love. Love wins. That is amazing! Can you get like a miniature of this dragon statue? I would love one on my shelf. Next to like my weird fan art and mangoes, please. Demon, reveal your true form! Poof. Ah, it's a trick! It's being cute to survive. That's basically the strategy of any animal. I'm just looking cute and fluffy so you won't hurt me or feel really bad for doing it. Gosh darn manipulative, super cute animals and I can't even be mad at it because they're so adorable. Brave knight, a dragon has come to a land. It must be destroyed. On my honor, I will kill the beast. Die, foul dragon! Ye old the soup kitchen. Oh, uh, I'll... I'll come back later. Sorry, sorry. Prepare yourself, dragon! <gasps> Just helping with some gardening. Oh, school. Ah, uh, yeah, so, um, you know about the Dragon King? He's, he's not that much of a menace. I think he's probably better than everyone else in the kingdom. <laughs> you know, he's, he's kind of bringing up the average here. <laughs> the property value is gonna spike. Ooh. Would you like some help? Are you lost? This for it is dangerous. It's no place for kids. Bye now. Take care. You see, ghosts can be wholesome too. Sometimes they're just helpful and sweet. Ha, ah, don't judge a book by its cover. This is too cute. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my this oh this this little spooder is so adorable. Look at those little beans, the toe beans, and the fluffy face and the fluff and the my heart can't handle this, I swear to god. This is a no cease. <laughs> Holy shit, babe, you look like an angel. Really? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm not afraid, I promise. Lala leaving a yarn behind, and here's Satan or, or Minotaur stitching it. Crafty Minotaur. <laughs> I snorted so freaking hard. Omega. <laughs> I'm trying to reach this, it's so hard. Oh, it's death! Fshing! Here's your toilet paper. Aw, oh, wholesome death, you see? It's so beautiful. Guys, I forgot my sheet, but I am here. <laughs> when you have a policy for clothes, but for completely different reasons, <laughs> it's just impossible to socialize or know where you are. So here's a little detective, and here's... <gasps> Baphomet, is that you? This image feels 
like an anime that just needs to happen. Is it a thing that already exists? Please let me know in the comments. I need to know. I must know. Clank, clank. Hmm? Hello, lady. I love you. Oh, darn, lady. Those legs go all the way up, like, three floors. Woo! Those are gonna be some very expensive, like, custom-made thigh-high boots. It's over. You won't disturb my human anymore. Sleep well, my friend. Wholesome spooders, oh my god. Who dare summon me? Trick or treat! Listen, little shites. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Do I look like someone who come bearing sweets? Your breath smells like Skittles. Uh, fine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Busted. You can't get so close to people if they can smell the candy. Good night. Hmm. Crawling in under the bed. We are living species. We are number one. Plant more trees. When you just befriend your under the bed demons. That's how it's supposed to be. A giant animals and knights. So here's a knight on a chicken. Knight with big snail. Knight with big little, oh my god, eagle cut. What's that, porcupine? Eagle cut. Oh, that's so much cuter. It's like a pine cone animal. We used to have an eagle cut back where I grew up. And it used to like crawl in under our porch and live there for like months at a time. So we used to like slice it potatoes and stuff and it would eat it and it was so cute. Whoosh, into the sarlacc. But the Sarlacc loves you. Oh my god, picnic with Sarlacc, proposing to Sarlacc, marrying Sarlacc, spending your time in deathbed by Sarlacc, Sarlacc grieving your passing <laughs> with, a little, with a little shawl over its, well, not face, but tentacle. Sarlacc dreaming about the love it once had. This is just the, the Boba Fett series we actually needed. Man, it would have been such a twist. Randomly materializes out of a murder of crows with a Slurpee in my hand. Hey guys, what's up? 40 bats coalescing into an approximate human form, holding a Gatorade. Not much, how about you? Five wolves make their presence known with a piercing howl before joining the circle. They clutter together and take up the form of a human with an iced coffee. Sup. Emerges from the back exit of a Dairy Queen to take out the garbage. Uh, uh my, my boss said y'all aren't allowed to hang out back here. <laughs> You're scaring away the customers. The boring normies. Here comes the tickle monster. Uh, Dad, you know I'm too old for that. <laughs> Appreciate your local tickle monster. <laughs> oh. Hey kid, what does this word mean? This word? Yeah, that word. <gasps> when you're reading together with your monster, but you have to take it slow because they were never, never allowed to go to school because they look different. And if you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss gazes back also into you, Frederick Nietzsche. Hmm. Uh. Hi! <laughs> It's a bit like anticlimactic. I am sorry. None of you deserve this. I have someone I'd like you to meet. You're in good hands. Oh my, is that Irvin? Oh, that's so... Oh my god, it's adorable. I love this. This is so cute. This is so cute. So the ones that succumbed in the fire were taken to Irvin in, in like the afterlife heaven for, for animals and stuff. That's amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. Did you bring me blood? All they had was blood oranges. Eh, fine. These things are actually amazing. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> little fish for little cat. A minna minna me. <sighs> Dude, you gotta stop following me around. I don't know anyone else here and I feel awkward. <laughs> and then just hold Satan's hand. I know, right? That's what I would do. It's just like, I don't know anybody else here. I'm just gonna follow you around. <laughs> and you also got a sweet cake. Well, ladies, lasses, and lassos, that's the end of this beautiful video. I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Wholesome monsters and wholesome hellish memes. <sighs> Is there anything better? I think not. But I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day. You deserve it, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah. Yeah!